Hey guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can animate a baseball bat hitting a ball. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to start off by creating a shape that looks a little bit similar to a baseball bat. It doesn't have to be exact, it's just uh, it's about the animation, not about the bat. So we're going to go in our polygons menu, we're going to select a uh, cylinder, we're going to start off with uh, with that. Drag that out on the grid, something like so. Go into your attribute editor, select polygon cylinder one, and I'm going to select the box for a round cap, and I'm going to bump up the subdivisions in height to 10 and caps to 10. And that should round the top here, which looks fine. And now we need to make this thing look a little bit more like a baseball bat. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to Edges, and I'm going to drag select these last three rows here. So, one, two, that's too much. Actually, I'm going to take these three. And as you can see, I have uh, the B selected for a soft selection. This is without, this is with. So hit the B in your keyboard. Hit R, and we're going to start to scale that in a little bit until it looks something like a baseball bat. It's not exact, but it's, you know, looks a little bit like it. And we're just gonna get rid of that uh, weird point down there just by scaling that back in and rounding that a little bit. And maybe uh, just scale it out a bit while we're at it. Okay, something like that. A little bit better, okay. So we're going to hit 5 for shaded mode, and this supposedly looks a little bit like a baseball bat anyway. Okay, right click on uh, the bat, go to object mode, select it, hit E to rotate it to 90 degrees, like that. Just check if you got 90 degrees exactly. Okay, so we got that in position. All right. Now, First, what we're going to deal with is the swing action of the bat. So this is our starting point. We're at frame one. I'm just going to give this scene, uh, you know, some frames. So I'm going to select 300 and just uh, quickly check my animation preferences. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, right. So bats in position. We're at frame one, and I'm going to hit S to create a key. Select it, hit S, and there you go. So you've got the little red line here on frame one. That's our starting point. Now we're going to start the swing back motion. Now we need to move the center point to the back, so this will be our, uh, our turning point. So hit insert on your keyboard, and we're going to drag that out to here. That's better. Okay. Now the swing back motion of the bat will take, uh, I don't know, let's say two seconds. Now two seconds is roughly 50 frames. So we're going to select frame 50 on our uh, animation line here. And now I'm going to hit E while the object is selected. And I'm going to start to swing the bat back and maybe just pull it up a little as you typically do that when you swing back. And I'm good with that, so I'm going to hit S on the keyboard, and I got that keyed. All right, so now we're going to come forward again, and we're going to overswing a little bit. So let's say that takes two seconds again, and the distance is a bit further, but you're speeding up. So again, around 50 frames. So we're going to select frame 100, like so, and we're going to start to swing back in like that little overswing and pull it back up a little like so maybe a little bit less okay so like that all right i'm good with that so we're going to hit s on that one just quickly check how that looks and mm -hmm. All right, uh, that's okay. All right, so we've got that. 
and now we're going to follow through with the swing and we're going to lift it up again at the end now the follow through will be again about two seconds so let's say we're going to end up at 150 something like that we're going to follow through all the way there and we're actually going to pull that up a little bit like so I'm going to hit S on the keyboard. Let's see how that looks. Swing back, come in, hit, follow through, and swing up. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, next we need to create a baseball. So we're going to select a polygon sphere and just see how that sizes up to the bat. First of all, we need to move it up so it's in line with the bat, like so. That seems to look okay. Okay, not too bad. And now we need to set our start point. So we're going to move the ball back a little bit, somewhere here. And that will be our starting point in the animation. So while it's selected, hit S on the keyboard, that's your frame one. And now we need to decide when the ball is going to hit the bat. So if you go back to the bat animation, and I scroll back to the beginning, and I start to scroll through. So this is my swing back, it's coming in, and boom. Somewhere around 92, 93. So I want it to hit at 93, so I'm going to select my ball again, and on frame 93, I want the ball to be exactly in front of the bat. So we need to move that up a little. I'm just going to hit F to zoom in, and I need to check it from this angle need to make sure that it's in front of the bat, not inside of it. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's see if we're okay on height. Okay, I'm good with that. Alrighty, so we got that in position and we're on frame 93, so we're going to hit S to keyframe that. And now after impact, the ball obviously is going to fly off and we want to hit this out of the park so it's going to go straight up. Let's say it's going to be pretty fast because we've got a lot of swing in it so it's going to take about two seconds to take off. So two seconds, about 50 frames, we're at 93 so you know roughly let's say we're going to go at 140. So go to frame 140 and as you can see the bat already went on and we're going to drag that out even a bit more and we're going to drag that way up. Okay so now it's off screen and that's our whole point. So we're going to hit S on our keyboard and keyframe that. Okay. Now let's go back to the beginning of our scene and because I want to see this slowed down somewhat I'm going to go to my animation presets here next to the key select that and instead of play every frame I want to go to half speed so 12 frames per second I'm going to select that save that for now and let's see what we got. So scroll back to the beginning and I'm going to hit play. Ball's coming in. Bat swing back. It's coming in. Impact. And there we go. So I'm just going to do that again so we can see it, the bat a bit better. Just stop that. Scroll back. Okay. And again. Swing back, coming in, hitting the ball, and the ball's taken off, and follow through on the swing. 
Now, it's not the best animation ever, uh, but again, I'm an amateur, so uh, uh, hopefully this, this uh, information is useful for you guys, and uh, hopefully it will help you to develop your skills and to get the perfect animation. Alrighty, if you've got any questions, you know uh, where you can leave them. Uh, just put them in the comment box. I'll just uh, speed this up to normal speed, just to play every frame. Save that, stop it, scroll back. That would look something like this. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.